Hey everyone, in today's video, I am gonna show you how I car top my Hobie Revolution 13 onto my Tesla Model Y. And you guys, with gas prices in the Bay Area exceeding $4 a gallon, I am incredibly happy that I picked up this Tesla Model Y. I uh, apologize, I think somebody's doing their yard work right now. Um, but uh, yeah, I picked this new car up end of last year. And uh, it is a long range Model Y, fantastic car. I love it. Um, it's got all the features that I want. It's a great family vehicle. It's got a lot of space. So I'm um, really excited to put the kayak on for the first time and hopefully I don't fail. Now there's a lot of reasons why I decided to go with the Tesla. First reason is that I want to be able to move forward with renewable energy. I felt like this was uh, one of the things that I can do to reduce my carbon footprint. You know just be overall more environmentally friendly and also not have to depend on uh, fossil fuels, gas. Secondly, I wanted a crossover that can accommodate my family of five and at the same time be all wheel drive and just be an overall fun car to drive in. This car definitely checked all the boxes. So there you go. Just a quick run around here, car. Did do a couple modifications, but this is not a Tesla channel, so I'm not gonna go over too much on that. But for the kayak mount, I am using the uh, my prior Thule dock glide system uh, onto the stock factory Tesla roof rack. I believe it's actually made by Yakima though, but um, I think it should work. So my plan is to get this kayak up from the trunk. And this is how I've previously done it on my old car. And I think this will be possible. I do have a kayak assist that I'll be putting right here on this rear windshield. Um, so I'll be putting that on first and then sliding it up. Yep, let's do that. All right, so right now I'm gonna be putting on this kayak assist again on my rear windshield. So I'm just gonna pour some water just to enhance the gripping mechanism on this. All right guys, got the kayak assist bar here. And this is gonna prevent me from hitting my rear trunk and spoiler. we get it on top and then we're gonna go ahead and throw a couple straps uh, both sides on the bar 
both sides on the bar right here and then also front to here and then the rear right here to the truck all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put the ama on my roof rack as well and my plan is to put it on the side so i'm gonna put it right here i'm thinking of either putting it flat like this or possibly upside down like this what do you guys think how do you think i should put the alma on my rack comment down below i think i have another idea as far as how to mount the alma there's these bungees on both sides so i was planning to put that over there just so it's you know more stable upside down and then run a strap through here hopefully that will, will work out now i'm gonna go drive around a little bit and see you know make sure that's not shifting or anything like that uh just to be sure great thing about the tesla is the glass roof you can really keep an eye on the kayak from the inside how awesome is that another great thing about the tesla is that there's tons and tons of areas for storage and I, let me show you the front here Look at all of the storage here. So I am planning to put my dry suit, my boots in here, any additional kind of wet items. Um, so that's contained in here. And I do have an all weather mat right here for protection, but just some additional space for storage. Special thanks to my video assistants. Hi, my name is Chloe, and this is my brother, New Bubba. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.